Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Michelle. And this is RV Love Shack. So, Shane, why don't you tell me what today is? Today <laughs> happens to be my birthday. And what were we doing last year at this time? Last year at this time, <laughs> we were sitting on our couch at home because um, today was the day that they actually locked everything down in Washington and told us that we were no longer going out to work or restaurants or anywhere and we were shut down. Yes, and so then we were trying to figure out like how are we going to move all of our clients to our home in a virtual capacity and what are we going to do? And so that was kind of our dilemma last year on Shane's birthday. And from there, we started, we, well, we figured out like how to get all of our clients online. And But then I said, <laughs> <laughs> look. After a couple of weeks, right? <laughs> yeah, about two weeks went by. And then I was like, hey, wait a sec, hold on a sec. If I gotta stay on the couch all the time, then I'm getting a couch that moves. And so we weren't actually gonna become full-timers for about six more years, but we, decided as we talked about it yeah it was it was a dream of ours to be full-time RVers but it was more a retirement dream it wasn't a now dream and you know I think the whole thing with the coronavirus although it's been you know a hard thing it's also been a good thing for us and so we made lemonade out of lemons and figured out how to take our business on the road and become full-time RVers so we had been going to RV shows and looking at RVs and we had narrowed it down to um, what we had wanted we had, we had decided we wanted even a, a either a uh, Tiffin Phaeton or a Tiffin Allegra bus that's what we had decided and I was bored one night <laughs> sitting on that couch and I was just kind of scrolling through Facebook marketplace and was looking at different places, following cities and stuff. And I ended up in Yuma, Arizona, and I came across this Tiffin Allegra bus that was like incredible. It was exactly like what we wanted. And so I told Michelle and I was like, you know, hey, uh, we should just like fly down there and take a look at it. And and I was a little panicked about getting on a plane and fly, flying to Yuma in April of last year, but um, Shane was like, come on, let's do it. And so we did, we got on a plane, we flew down there and it was exactly what we always wanted. Um, and so we bought the Tiffin, which we refer to as Roxanne. And Drove we, had it home. Our, we had our two little suitcases. That was all that we had rambling around in this great big empty RV. We had to stop at Walmart <laughs> on our first stop just to get a blanket and some sheets for the bed to get oh, home. Yeah, that's right. So we. We stopped at Walmart, got those kind of things, was able to drive home. We took about four days. We drove back to Bellevue, Washington. That's where we had our practice and where we were living. And um, up there, we were the couple that counsels couples. And that's what we do is, is marriage counseling and relationship counseling. And we spent about five days, six days driving home. We got home. We parked the RV about three miles from our house because it wouldn't fit in the driveway. driveway or anything. <laughs> yeah. And um, if I look like I'm a little distracted right at the moment, we also have a French <laughs> bulldog that is down here playing in the edge of the river. And I'm just waiting to see if he goes floating by or something because he's like completely like he's going to jump in the river. So back to this, we were um, we parked it about three miles from our house. We took all of our stuff that we wanted to put into the RV and we put it into the RV. And then, like I said, we found the RV on Facebook Marketplace. Michelle then turned around and sold everything we had in Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, it was like I was trying to figure out like because of the pandemic, we couldn't really have like an estate sale or do, you know, a cool thing like, um, our friends that we've met recently from Life Uninterrupted had had somebody come in and and it was just like this really cool process and I would have loved to have done that but we ended up not being able to do that so I was like all right well we bought the RV on Facebook marketplace so let's try it and 
so anyway, I just, it was a way that I could do it. Um, where I would tell Shane, you have to put the couch out on the porch. Somebody's already paid me by Venmo. And so that's how we sold everything. And she sold everything, Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> or we, in, do we donated a few things. In and four weeks. <laughs> We had everything gone four weeks. And then on top of that, we had a practice there in Bellevue. We went, we were gonna sell some of the furniture and we thought, oh no, how are we gonna do this? Well, this person called up about a couch and I said, I, we had already sold our couch. I said, but I have one at the office. Took them there and while we were there, some other people showed up. Our dog just fell in the river. Some other people showed up and while they were there, they ended up buying everything. So we sold everything that night out of the office and we were done. We had everything gone. We would, stuff was in our motorhome. We closed up on everything and we went 15 miles up the road to uh, a little RV park that um, it's called Tall Chief. And when we, when we went there, we found out it was a thousand trails and it actually worked out for us to buy the thousand trail basic membership and stay there was cheaper than if we were to just stay there so we bought the thousand trails membership and we stayed there it was called tall chief although michelle referred to it as rain cloud yeah camp rain cloud because our first month of rv no lie it rained every single day but one so we got to figure out how watertight the rv was and it also gave us an opportunity to figure out how to work everything and get our business um, closed down and make sure that all of our connection for our clients and all of that was working. So it was a good move for us to stay close to that area and we had a lease that we had to finish up on our business. And, and so Michelle wanted the security of knowing that like we had to put a full router system into the RV so that we can get on our Zoom meetings and, and that. And, and she wanted to feel secure that it was all working with kind of an escape goat that we could race back to the office if something didn't work, which we were fortunate that never happened to us. Everything worked out the way it was advertised. Um, we got our internet system all set up. We got all the extra little bells and whistles we wanted in the RV set up. And on, well, we took, we were there for about three weeks and then we took a little road trip down to see our grandkids in Medford, Oregon, which happens to be where we are right now. We are standing on the Road River um, in Medford, Oregon, and we saw our grandkids and then we went back on the way back up to Bellevue because um, I had a doctor's office before we could start our travel. Okay. Uh, I, I'm sorry, a doctor's appointment. Then on the way, we stopped and Oh, picked wet. up our <laughs> companion, which this he is, is he's he's, he just was in the river. <laughs> this is Captain Jack. Captain Jack has his own little uh, Instagram page and for following if you want to go there. Um, do, he's always doing something silly like this. But we picked him up and he joined our family and has been traveling with us ever since. We went back for a week. I did my doctor's appointment and then we headed Took out. Off and headed to Idaho for a stop. So. so we are starting this RV Love Shack channel, obviously, and we want to invite you to come along and join in our journey. Uh, we're going to try to incorporate from our profession, marriage counseling, relationship counseling, talk about the issues that um, come out in relationships and kind of incorporate in that. So what we're doing is we're going to try to open our channel so that we can become friends with all of you and if you have questions or curiosities about relationships and how people get along and things people do that you would be able to ask those questions on um, the channel on the in the comments we're not going to obviously be able to get to everybody's questions but what we are going to do is pick a few questions out of that week's channel and then we will work them into the following week's uh, videos yeah, so, and we'll also provide like some tips and tools just along the way along with our travel videos and we'll be sharing, you know, the places that we visit and um, show our favorite things as well. Right? So like the song says, Love Shack, <laughs> come on aboard. We have our car is as, as big, big as, as a whale. whale. <laughs> so come on board and let's set sail together. <laughs> we will see you guys on the road. 
So subscribe and hit like if you like our videos. We'd really appreciate it. And we look forward to maybe meeting all of you down the road.